welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. In this video I'm going to show you how to terminate some off the roll interconnect cable. Now this isn't just any old interconnect cable, this is uh, a Van Damme cable. Now a lot of you, I've never told you this, but in 2006 I actually ran my own audio accessories business and I used to sell loads of cable. Now um, I tried so many different cables, off the roll cables, and this is one of the best ones I've, I, I came across. Uh, basically, this is a, um, a microphone cable. It's a quad core, right? So basically what it is, is it's got, it's got four conductors in there, and, and each conductor is, um, <clears throat> is padded with a cotton filler rod. And, um, and then it has a, um, a silver plated braid over the top of it. So basically, it's being shielded by by twisting the, the, the four cores together and then having a, a, a braid over the top of it, a silver plated braid. Now, this is, uh, this is some that I've been making for a friend of mine. He wanted some, uh, a couple of pairs of them. So I've, I've knocked those up. Um, it basically comes on a roll like this. I mean, I, I've been through shed, shed loads of these rolls. I sold a lot of this stuff, mainly to the hi-fi industry making uh, interconnects. Um, you can actually you can actually use it as a speaker cable as well, but it's quite thin overall. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how to terminate one of these. Um, you can further improve the sound quality of these by getting them deep cryogenically treated as well. So this is what's gonna to happen to these. I'm gonna send them off and get them done for my mate because he wants them um, to sound the best they can. And what the, the cryogenics does is it just, uh, it increases the breaking time of the cable. Do you know when you, when, it, when they say a pre-burning? So you can either use a cable cooker or you can get them deep cryogenically treated, which is so much better. Um, so basically, that's that. Now um, he supplied me with the RCA plugs. Now I shall in the description below I shall tell you where to get the cable from. But you can basically use whatever RCA plug you want. Really, um, these ones are ones he got off of eBay. They're just, um, they're pretty basic. Um, still quite good quality. They're, they're obviously milled from brass and then they're uh, gold plated, either 24 carat or 12 or nine. Um, so basically we've got our old tuner here. <coughs> uh, we've got our RCA input plugs there. So we're gonna just push one of those into there for a minute because it's so much easier to hold it in place while we do the job. Um, <coughs> I've got other cables as well that I used to use, which I'm going to sort of reveal to you in other videos. Uh, some mains cable, I've still got a couple of rolls of mains cable that I used to use. And I'm going to give some um, some power cords away in a competition um, coming up soon, hopefully. So um, basically, so what we're going to do now <clears throat> is this, this is so easy um, to terminate this cable. It's pretty easy. So we're going to offer it up to the RCA plug. And all I'll do is, is I'll just notch it there. Because all we want to do is just strip it back a little bit because that's the strain bit that holds it in place. So basically, just take it round with the knife. I never use a sharp knife, too sharp, because I don't want to cut through the braid as well. I just want to cut through the jacket. Now this has got a very, uh, very flexible jacket that helps it. I mean, when I was selling a lot of this before, I used to cover it in uh, nylon braid, just give it a professional look to it. Um, you don't have to, I'm not in this case, I'm using some of this in my own system from my from my Phono preamp to my amps in there, from my, to my um, my integrated amp. Um, so basically, this is this is the uh, silver plated braid that's around it. So we're just going to strip that back, put it over to there. And we just want to want to try to get all the strands together. We don't want to lose any of the of the strands or tend to break them off at all. Now we're just going to twist that round. Now this is the bit where I'm going to reveal the cotton filler rods. Um, see, look, like there's a bit there I've missed. So we just take that round as well. We want to just get it all nice and right. So this has like a, a paper. It's not paper. It's some sort of um, can't remember what they called it now. I did know all this a while ago, but I, I shut. I, I run the audio business for six years, and then I, I shut it down in 2012. Um, so difficult to get to get established in it. Um, magazines, magazines. Um, I had reviews in magazines. Very difficult magazines. 
unless you were spending vast amounts of money on advertising they don't want to give you the reviews that, that you, you deserve see now there these these are the cotton filler rods now and what this does is this stops any electromagnetic buildup in the cable all right so we just want to we want to individually cut those back now you've got to be careful here because these conductors are quite small so we don't want to chop off the conductor we just want to get it up on the side there give it a bit of a haircut um, there. right okay so basically um, now we're left with our conductors now there are several ways of um, of terminating this cable right now the way I like to do it and I find it sounds the best is to join all the four conductors together in the center and use the um, use the silver plated braid just as the ground right so basically so we've got those I mean there's another way of doing it you can just you can either use the two um, white ones for the center conductor and the two blue ones as the ground and then just connect your braid at one end only but I find that this way by connecting the whole four in the middle and just using the brains the, the silver plated braid as the ground works really well and, and basically it really improves the base as well um, so basically we've got our wire strippers here these are very fine these are so they're really difficult so you don't really want to use a knife on these because you'll just cut them off it's so easily done right so but we're just going to nip those off so we'll reveal the end of it now this is silver plated OFC well it's not totally silver plated there's there's certain amount of strands in there that are silver plated and the rest is just ultra pure copper um, some of you may be already familiar with this cable, but trust me, this is a very good sounding cable. Um, <clears throat> again, these can't ever be mistaken for my own design, my handmade ones. My handmade ones are just uh, in a totally different league. But if you if you find it's very difficult to make one of those, um, th this is a very good cable. And the reason I use this on the turntable is because it needs to be shielded on the turntable, otherwise you're going to get a load of... Um, a load of noise going in there so that the ground noise tends to go through the stylus and it all sounds a bit where well, it comes from the motor and that right nearly there <clears throat> right okay so we, if you can see there now there's your, there's our four conductors in the middle there so what we're going to do now is we're going to twist those four together it needs to be a little bit there we go right so that, that that's from there so that that's what you need to get to um, and if you want to experiment the other way, like I said, using the, 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 the splitting the two conductors, the four conductors in the middle into two, you can try that as well. But uh, personally, I prefer this way. So now we can leave off the back housing, we can slide it on afterwards on this one. And, uh, <clears throat> but you make sure you do put the back housing on because you'll get carried away and then you'll you're, you're just uh, you'll solder the plug on without the back housing on. So basically, this is our this is our RCA plug that's in there. It's very difficult to see on the camera to get it really close. There's a little hole down there, and that's where the ground is. There you go. You can see that there. So what I'm going to be doing is fitting this, the ground. It's, it's getting the right place. I just get it into that hole there. There we go. Just pushed it into the hole there. All right now we just want to snap that. See where the uh, the obviously the jacket is. We need the jacket there so we can crimp it up afterwards because you don't want it coming putting pressure on the cable so now we're going to push that down into there into the center right okay and now we're using at the moment i've gone on to wbt uh solder it's just uh, i've got a deal on it i mean silver solder it's just silver solder to me that's some people say there's a difference in in solder i mean you can take things too far really but um there we go right now this now what we're going to do is we're going to solder the center conductor there little bit more now I'm not being funny I've seen some people's videos on the uh, on YouTube of uh, terminating cables and their soldering is, is, is absolutely dreadful and uh, there's nothing better than doing a really nice job of it 
Um, it's not just the, uh, to me, it just, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it properly. Um, get that end in there. I've terminated so many cables in my time. It's absolutely unbelievable the amount I've done. I didn't want to reveal. I haven't revealed before that I ran an audio business. Uh, I wasn't sure how people would feel about it and that, but um, um, but now you know. And I'll, I'll show you some other stuff that I've that I've uh, that I've done in the past. I also used to make speaker stands as well, um, isolation platforms. There we go. Make that nice. There we go. But that needs to go down a bit because it's sticking up a little bit. There we go. Lift the cable up a bit just to, till it sets. Now, I'll show you this close up. Now, you've still got some of the uh, cotton filler rods there showing, but that's fine. It's very difficult to cut them right the way back. So we've got that there. Very nice piece of solder in there. Very nice. No mess at all. Just totally clean. And that's what we want. So we're just going to crimp that up there. Crimp that up there. There we go. It doesn't have to be much. It just just so it uh, holds it. See, look, that's nice and strong now. So we're going to just now. This is our end. This is the back housing there. Um, we're just going to slide that on there. Take that down to the bottom. Then we're just going to screw that up. Now you just got to make sure you sort of bend that round a bit. And the reason why I say you don't want any of the braid, <clears throat> any of the strands, loose strands around there, is because you might just get one rogue one that's touching the center conductor and uh, it just won't work after that. So you'd have to remove that one. But so there we go. I'm just going to just tighten that up. That's nice and tight. Now, when it comes to this end, <clears throat> obviously the back housing has to go on first. So um, we just need to find the other. RCA plug which is here um, so we're just going to nip the back housing off of there and push that onto there slide that up now for a lot of people this would be very easy um, than making your own I mean as I said my own ones my own designs are definitely better than this cable but this is it shouldn't be understated this is quite a good cable as well and um, this, this this cable um, would be equally as good as anything up to uh, 150, 200 pound that you'd buy. Um, any of the mainstream makes, I don't like mentioning makes, so I'm not going to mention makes, but the mainstream ones, uh, they've got all the jargon on there. I'm not joking, this is equally as good. This is a great cable. Um, yeah, the one that's on my, um, on my uh, Phono preamp, it's been deep cry gently treated as well by Frozen Solid. That's the company I generally recommend because they're very good in there. Right, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you again to do this so you've got it twice. <coughs> Sorry. Right, okay. So we just want to move these. Move the braid around. Again, try to just put it back. Pull that over there so you can try to get all the braid around. You want to keep it nice and neat. It's, it's really nice to keep it neat just to give it a very nice um, neat job. And back in the day I used to go to the hi-fi exhibitions and that. Um, been to many hi-fi exhibitions. Um, Go around talking to people about different stuff and that. Right, okay. Now there was another cable that I used to use as well, and it was made by Belden, 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 and um, they produced it for a while. And it was just, it was like a, it was a seventy-five ohm coaxial cable. And it was just silver plated copper, but it sounded brilliant. I sold quite a few of those, and everybody I sold that to, they they just said they they used to send me emails and how brilliant it was, and they were really pleased with it and everything. Um, but like um, good news travels slow, unfortunately, it's very difficult business to get into. It's sewn up by the big boys, um, very hard to uh, to make it. it. Cost me a hell of a lot of money. But if I had my chance again, I'd do it again. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, that's why I set this, uh, this this channel up really I thought it's only fair that I've got all this knowledge 
and I don't want to keep it to myself. I want to share it with other people now. Just to show you that, that, that I'm, I'm not being funny. There's a hell of a lot of money made in this industry. The cable is peanuts. I mean, I'm not sure what this is now because I've nearly run out of this cable now. I've only got about a metre or so left of it. Um, I, I'll find it on eBay for you and I'll put, it can't be a lot more than oh, seven, eight pound a metre, if that. It could be cheaper than that. And... Um, and the insulation is polyethylene on these bits. It's not PVC. This is polyethylene. So it's quite a good insulator <clears throat> for the conductors. Right, so we've got them over there again now. <clears throat> so we just want to take out... There we go. We're just nipping a little bit off the end of it. It doesn't have to be lots. I always I always test these and that after make sure they're all all right. And they generally are, you know. You can use this cable also if you wanted a 3.5 jack to a 3.5 jack. <clears throat> you can use this cable as well because you can use the the, the the blue for the the right channel, the white for the to the for the left channel, and the uh, obviously the braid for the ground. There we go. That one's off there. Off there, last one I'll do. Take it over there. Right, okay. So we're going to twist those four together again. Right, remember, make sure you fit your back housing on, because <laughs> it's uh, it's easily mistake to make, easy mistake to make when you uh, leave it off. Right, so we've got to that to there again now. You see, like there's a rogue one hanging down there, and there's just a tiny little bit that's just riding up there a bit. See it there? Look, like, I'm just gonna take that round that side. Okay, lift this one up and twist it in again. We don't want any rogue strands hanging about. Right, okay. <clears throat> now my only reservations about setting this channel up originally is I'm not great talking on these and, and even acting on camera. I'm just I'm basically just a you know a normal guy. But I thought it'd be silly for me to not share my knowledge with everybody on all the stuff that I've learned and that over the years. I mean I've made some fabulous speaker stands. Um, they sound absolutely superb. They'll just bring your speakers alive, I tell you. They're brilliant. And if I get time, I'm going to try to build a set to show you. Um, they're, they're very easy. They're very effective. Right, okay, so we've got our centre conductor there again. We just want to sort of we want to solder that one in again in place. Little bit more, tiny little bit more, sorry. There we go. Keep that there like that. Right, we're gonna twist it round, give it a set, second to set. <clears throat> now I'm not gonna reveal the uh, the name of my business that I ran. Um, it's in the past now. I just wanna carry on with uh there we go. Right, just the, uh, the ground wire now. I called it the earth earlier on. It's actually, well, ground earth. It's all the same thing. There we go. Lift that up. Okay, look how neat that is. Nice little blob of uh, solder. <coughs> right, so we'll take this off again now. We've just got to crimp that wire, that, um, this strain a bit there to it. It helps to hold it in place. Right, there we go. I used to use K-deoxit on every um, connector. Once I'd soldered it, I used to spray it with K-deoxit. I've run out of that at the moment, so I, I haven't got any to do that. But uh, you can buy that if you like, and that to spray it on there just to helps to keep the uh, the solder from discoloring and corroding over a period of time. Right, so there we go. So we're just going to tighten that up. You can put heat shrink over that. Um, I used to just I used to use a braid around it. 
um, a nylon braid, generally black or a silver one, depending on where, whether it was uh, silver plated copper or or, uh, or copper. At the time when I set the business up, uh, originally you couldn't get a hold of the Ono continuous cast copper very easy, like the one that I've showed you on eBay. Um, now they're doing that, that's fabulous that is, but then you have to make it yourself again, you, you, you're not just terminating a cable like this. So um, so that's one that's one channel, this is the other. So there's there's a set of interconnects, very quick and easy to, to produce. And uh, I can't understate how great this cable is, it's very good. So uh, that's that, and uh, that's the other set there. These ones have come out, because uh, uh, my friend wanted them uh, 1.2 meters. So that's what they are, 1.2. So again, um, thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Remember to keep the soldering clean and tidy. Um, and uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back with other videos very soon. Thanks a lot.